I think this is going to work. I think. I hope so. Hey everybody, sorry, a little pre-work happening over here. What's going on? Hi. How you doing? All right, come on in. We got a lot of work to do tonight. Okay, we got a lot of work to do tonight. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Before I even get started, I want to make a broth. And this will probably take um, the most time to do. So I want to do it first so that... I don't mess it up, okay? So, let me get this on. I'm using the Darius Cooks Pressure Cooker, which we have restocked some on the website. So, if you wanted to get a pressure cooker yesterday and you couldn't get it because it said that it was sold out, you're in luck, okay? Because it's now what? sold in okay okay these are uh turkey tails smoked turkey tails i probably use these the most out of any smoked meat that i use so they look like this like a like a i don't know a hunk of meat but they're so good okay so i just want to give these a a quick little rinse i want to make a broth like a smoked turkey broth, right? I mean, I guess you could do this with anything. You could, but I'm gonna do it with smoked turkey, all right? So my pressure cooker is on. I'm gonna throw these in. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on. There's a button called meat slash stew. Um, that is the uh, setting I'm going for, okay? So, I had it on saute just to get it warmed up. But I'm going to lock it in on meat and stew. About half hour. About what we need. All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. I hope y'all are ready for a fantastic evening. Okay. We have lots of things to do. Good things. So... We shall get started, but first I must put on my apron, okay? I will be wearing the Darius Cooks Cookies and Cream apron this lovely evening, okay? I had on, if you watched yesterday, I had on um, German chocolate yesterday. That one is like one of my faves, I like it. But this one, is the beautiful cookies and cream apron, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. See, just use the code. The code is the same from yesterday, Thanksgiving 22, except we went down a couple of percent, okay? So we went down from 55% yesterday to a beautiful, lovely, 50% today, all right? And you better believe it, we're going to go down even more. So if you want anything off the website, shopdariuscooks.com. Okay, everybody. Everybody just calm down. Okay, everybody... Just calm down.
Guess what I have? Ba 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 ba. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this what I think it is? Is this the Darius Cook's cutting board? I am beyond. Okay, let me show you how luxurious this thing is, okay? So if you already have the Darius Cook's Everyday Knife and you already have the Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, you need a Darius Cook's cutting board, okay? Okay, this will put every other cutting board to shed. Is my name on it? What do you think? Absolutely, my name is on it. Yes. Okay. First of all, I want you to see how thick she is. Okay. She is a thick. Okay. The, 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 the thick. Okay. She has the Darius Cooks. It's hard to see because of the lighting. But she has the Darius Cooks logo engraved in her. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no need to put down wet, damp paper towels or anything. She comes with rubber legs so that guess what? She's stable. She won't move. Okay? And as you're cutting, and let's say you're cutting something juicy like a tomato, she has a little well that will catch all of the juices so that they end up on the board and not in your food. Huh? ShopDariusCooks.com. Use the code THANKSGIVING22 at checkout. And this Beautiful, amazing, 17 by 13 inch cutting board. Could be yours. Okay. Now, I'm doing it for 50% off. Okay. Skillets, knives, everything. ShopDariusCooks.com. Thanksgiving 22 is the code. Okay. Now. I think you know what time it is. Okay, I think you know what time it is. It's time for a celebration, okay? It is time for a celebration. I'm gonna start by celebrating with some ice, okay? Hold the line. That show didn't give me much. They didn't give me much ice out of there. Hold on, I got to back up there. Hold on, y'all. You know, it's always important to keep your little extra ice on the side just in case. Okay. All right. Let's do beautiful, lovely passion fruit henny Rita. Okay. Get ready because this will take your Thanksgiving cocktail situation to an entirely new level. Are you ready for this? Four simple ingredients, all right? First, I've got some passion fruit syrup, like a mix, okay? You can make your own, but they do a really good job with making these mixes and stuff these days, okay? Let's balance out some of the sweetness with some fresh squeezed lime juice. It doesn't matter who squills it. We need a little bit of either triple sec or Grand Mariner. Marnier, okay. All right, a shot of that. And we're gonna load the remaining up with 
our fave. Okay, a little Hennessy. Hi, oh my God. Just a shot or two. You don't need that much. <laughs> you don't need that much. Okay. We give we give it a sh oh, I cannot wait to drink this. We give this a shake. All right. And we have a beautiful passion fruit Henny Rita that we're serving in the Darius Cooks wine glass, okay? Who's excited? <laughs> Baby, I am thrilled tonight, okay? Here we go. This is live. This is not recorded. How did I mix the exact amount for the cup? Bow your head and say grace. Mm. At this time, We are asking all visitors to please stand. If this is your first, second, or third time joining us, we want to say welcome. We are so happy that you are here. Okay, at this time, we are going to have our impact agents come from the rear, and they're going to be holding an information card, okay? We do ask that when you go around for offering, you take that information card, and fill it out and put it in the offering basket. And then, please come to the East Vestibule tonight to grab your, your free gift. Not the West Vestibule, okay? The seniors are having a short rib puree contest. Our seniors... They can't chew the meat too much anymore, but they still like to cook and eat. So they're having a contest on which mother uh, can puree the best short ribs, and they will have their competition. See, we have to meet ministry. We have to do ministry. All, we have to meet people where they are. Huh? Wherever they are, there is a ministry for you. Yes, our seniors are losing their teeth, and they're gnawing. Okay, so we're going to do puree so that they can feel like they are a part of the family. Yes. Now, uh, at this moment, we would like to welcome you to service on this evening. Let the foodie in me love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me love the foodie in you because you're easy. Ba, 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 da. You're easy. Ba, 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 da. You're easy. Ba, 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 ba. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. Huh? <laughs> Okay, let's go to work. I'm not coming to play with y'all on this beautiful, lovely Darius Cooks cutting board. Okay, now in this bowl, I'm gonna add a few, a few things. Okay, a few things. in this bowl, okay? The first is a little bit of non-flavored oil. What does that mean? 
No peanut. No olive. Save the olive oil. Save your olive oil to anoint somebody's head or something like that. We're going to put the regular non-flavored oil. So vegetable, corn. This is canola. Why are we using canola? Because canola was on sale. Yes? Canola was $3.79. All day, every day. Twice on Sunday. All right? Now, next to canola... We got some buttermilk from somebody's farm, okay? Oh, wait, I can't see the measurement. Hold on one second, y'all. There we go. All right, it's a cup and a half. All right. There we go. So we have buttermilk and... um. The website is shopdariuscooks.com, okay, FYI. And make sure you use the code THANKSGIVING22. I got savings for you. 50%. Including the new cutting board. Play with me, okay? Now, we're going to add some sugar in here, all right, once I find it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I just got to find it. I found it. I got some, okay? A little sugar goes in. Somebody was like, why don't you have the stuff all laid out? Because that ain't how you cook at home. You do not cook with your stuff all mise en place out. You don't do all that. This is not the restaurant. You be doing the same thing I'm doing. Looking for stuff. It makes it more... Relatable. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's give this a mix. So this is sugar, buttermilk, and earl. Okay. Remember, any sort of non-flavored earl is good for you. Yes, thank you. A little spoon, all you need. Okay, now with this. We're gonna add in a couple of eggs. Okay, if I just calm down. All right? <laughs> just calm down. Okay? Eggs are gonna be two of them. Okay? Hi. All right, there's the first one. And here is my second egg. Goes in, okay? Now, we need to flavor this some kind of way. What are we using? I think you know. I think you know what we're using. A little vanilla. One scooch of vanilla, two scooches of vanilla. Now, I don't know, it's supposed to be a tablespoon, but you know, I think you could put as much vanilla as you like because vanilla is tasty. You know what I'm saying? Put that in there. If the recipe called for like a teaspoon, put it's like garlic. You know, if you make something with garlic, you got to put more garlic in than what, than what it requires. All right, we need some dry ingredients now. I need a touch of salt. About that much. I need me a scooch of baking soda, not baking powder. Okay, a scooch it is. How much a scooch is? I don't know. But we finna find out. Hold on one second. This is not open. I better be careful with this while I be shamed on live. Okay? Hold on one second. There we go. I 
time. Last thing I need to do is be shamed. Yes, the code. Y'all put the code in the comments for the people who asking. I see the people asking. Let me see. I see the people asking. The website is shopdariuscooks.com. Yes, a scooch. Shopdariuscooks.com. Go to um that's the website. And then when I just said, okay, shopdariuscooks.com and use the discount code Thanksgiving22. All one word. Don't email me about some the code don't work. You a code don't work lie. Okay. Don't email me talking about some all oh, the code don't work, ma'am. Yes, it do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the code do work. Ma'am and sir. <clears throat> Just admit you forgot to put it in. Okay? Because you was going too fast. These orders ain't going out to Friday, no way. So calm down. <laughs> These orders ain't going out to Friday. All right? You got plenty of time. Put your address in right. Do all that stuff. Okay? Y'all get so upset with me. Because your address wrong. I don't know where you live. I don't live there. I live here. Two and a half cups. There's two. And a half. All purpose flour. Okay. Let me just answer the question before you ask it. Did you see me sift it? Okay. That's the answer to your question. Do you sift the flour? Did you see me sift it? You didn't see me sift it, did you? So guess what we're not doing? Sifting the flour, okay? Okay, this is my classic vanilla buttermilk cake recipe. Now this recipe is in stories from my grandmother's kitchen, okay? Let's test my knowledge to make sure I'm right. I don't want to lead you astray, okay? So if you go to stories from my grandmother's kitchen, let me tell you what page we're on in case you want to take notes. Because some of y'all be asking, and I'll be seeing it after the comment, you know, when I go back and read the comments and stuff. Okay, let me see. All right, here we go. Page 227. We are making cookies and cream cupcakes to go with our cookies and cream apron. I am too much. I am too much, okay? This apron can be yours if you go to Shop Darius Cooks and use the code THANKSGIVING22 at checkout. You too can save 50%. Vegetable oil. I'm double checking my measurements. Buttermilk, two cups of sugar, two eggs, vanilla, salt, baking soda, flour. I'm on the money, honey, okay? Now, to turn this into cookies and cream, we need some cookies, don't we? Say less. <laughs> Say less. The code tonight is only for the cookies and cream apron. Could you get off my TikTok? Can you get off my TikTok line of these people? Hold on one second. Can you please get off my TikTok live line to these people? Okay. The code works for everything except for Dining with Darius Cooks tickets. And if you want a discount on Dining with Darius Cooks tickets for next year, use the code November 22. Okay? You got Thanksgiving 22 that only work with products and November 22 that only work with the tickets. Don't do that. All right? That's how rumors get started. All right? Now, don't be on here telling people what stuff don't work right, and it do. Now, don't do that. 
It worked for everybody, child. I know it worked. And I don't cuss a lot, but I will cuss, <laughs> I will cuss you. <laughs> I don't cuss a lot. Okay. Now you need a, a cup and a half of your wafer cookies, okay? This one might have already been open. I don't know who opened it, because it wasn't me. But we want to use golden vanilla cookie, a couple of them. Okay, golden vanilla, and we're gonna use regular Oreos. Okay, we're using both tonight. Don't play with us. It's about 10 cookies in total. You can put more if you want to, all right? It's completely up to you. You can put more of this. How much liquor was in here? How much liquor I put in there? Okay, we're gonna cut these up a little bit. Using my Darius Cook's Everyday Knife, which so many of you have. I'm just gonna do a little rough chop on my cookies. You could put them in like the, the, um, the food processor if you wanted to. You could do that. I'm cutting on my Darius Cook's cutting board. I can't even believe I'm saying that. Okay, the Darius Cook's cutting board. And I'm using the Darius Cook's knife. Who am I? Pinch me. <laughs> Who am I? Pinch me. All right, we give these a cut. Okay. And then let's add these cookie pieces. Now, you, it depends on how you like them. If you want them a little chunky, like some of us, then that's fine. If you want them a little bit more fine, then that's fine too. It's up to you on how you want to do it. But put it in here. And now we give this a mix. What do we have? We have a beautiful, lovely cookies and cream cake batter, okay? Hold the line. I didn't know I even had this in here. This must. This is really not mine. But I'm gonna use this little small one because we don't need that many cupcakes. We're watching our weight. <laughs> okay, these are cupcake liners. I'm gonna wet my fingers and I'm gonna drop cupcake liners in the cupcake pan. Okay. Next. I want to get this batter into here. And I don't have an ice cream scooper. So let me tell you what I like to do. Remember that measuring cup? We're going to go ahead and put this batter in this measuring cup. And we're going to go three quarters of the way up. So 75%. Okay. For those of you who can't count. Okay, like three quarters of the way up. I used to have a little cupcake shop on the north side of Chicago called the Cupcake Gallery. And I got to tell you, these were, besides this and Red Velvet, top sellers. Okay, every 
single time top sellers. Three quarters of the way up. This can be done as a sheet cake. This can be done as a layer cake. This can be done as cupcakes. Okay, 300 and 50 degrees. Beautiful, okay? In the oven, those go until, until they're done, okay? It should take somewhere around 15, 17-ish minutes. We'll watch it, okay? Just to make sure. Hi, everybody. Yes, the cutting boards. The cutting boards are at shopdariuscooks.com. If you want to get a discount on the cut, YouTube. I love y'all. YouTube, y'all being his strong, bro. I love you. All of you. My heart to yours. Use the discount code uh, What's the discount code? Thanksgiving 22. Okay. Thanks tw thanks Thanksgiving 22. Okay. Now we got to make this fish. Okay. Do I ship internationally? I take everything. Yes, I ship internationally. If you got international money, I got an international product. Thank you. Okay, let's talk about the fish real fast. I went down to the Publix Church of God in Christ where there is one church, many locations. And I picked up some beautiful salmon. I pronounce the L on salmon. I'll tell you why. If the Lord wanted us to keep the L silent, he would have left the L out, okay? I know what sounds a letter makes. L is there for a reason. It's there to be pronounced. I don't care if you don't pronounce your L, okay? It don't make you better than nobody or worse than nobody, but God dog it. It's an L in there, okay? That's why God put it up in there. Now, you got a problem, I dare you cuss him out. You got a problem, I dare you go on his page and say something negative. You got a problem, I dare you get in his DMs and tell him how you feel, like you do mine. Go to God in prayer. He's waiting on you. What you gonna do? Go to him. Go, go ahead. Because you be in my DMs cutting up all the time. Go to God. See what happened. Keep that same energy with Jesus. And they both shot out. Okay. All right. I'm just going to cube my fish up a little bit. I'm going to put it in a food processor. But I'm going to use my Darius Cooks cutting board, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. I know I cut up too much. Tampa, I'll see you tomorrow. I cannot wait, okay? It has been so long since I've been in Tampa, and we have dining with Darius Cooks all weekend long. Tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. I mean, I'm not, I'm not tomorrow. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I cannot wait until I get there, okay? I will be there. If y'all know of any good, um, I only got one chance to go to a good black-owned restaurant. Let me know where we should go. And don't send me to no bullshit like y'all did in Seattle, okay? 
Amen? Amen. All right, three fillets, fillet per person. So three people this should feed, right? We'll see what it's like when we puree it. Speaking of puree, the best way to do this, first of all, I use my Darius Cook's cutting board. Look how easy it wipes off clean. This beautiful oak wood. Look how easy that wipes off. And look how easy it rinses. And guess what? She's ready to use. Hi, she's ready to use. Okay, let me grab a food processor. <clears throat> okay, I have one. It ain't the Darius Cooks one yet, but you just hold your line. Hold the horses, okay? When I get done with y'all, your whole entire kitchen will be... Oh, it's Thanksgiving 22 is the code. ShopDariusCooks.com. Fifty percent off. When I get done with you, your whole kitchen gonna be Darius Cook. Mark my word. Okay. Um. Here's the thing. The thing, thing. What's this called? <laughs> you know how when you get old, you can't remember nothing. You remember only a few things. I'm on the phone with my best friend today, talking to Dr. Bobby, and we were talking about something and. Whatever we was talking about, I was trying to tell him that something had to be divisible by something evenly. Like five go into 500 a hundred times evenly, you know? And I was like, what's that word? What's the word when... Sure, I'm about to say. What's that word when... A number go into another number even. I could not think of it until I looked it up. A factor. Okay? A factor. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to put the fish, little cubes of fish, in here. And if you are tired of having, you know, your salmon cooked the same way, here's a different way you can do your fish. Okay? So I put three fillets, boneless, well, clearly boneless, but skinless in here. I got a little bit of red onion action going on, you know, maybe a good heaping tablespoon or so of red onion, okay? Now, we got to season this a little bit, okay? So, in here, I'm going to do a little pinch of salt, okay? This is fish, you know, sometimes it don't be that seasoned that well, so put your stuff in there, all right? I got me a little taint of, I got me a little taint of black pepper, Okay, ouch. Little taint of that, all right. Give me a little taint of onion powder. Somebody had something smart to say. Why you use onion and onion powder? Bitch, cause I mean, cause I can. Why would you use garlic and garlic powder? Cause I can. All right, let's throw in a little bit of smoked paprika. Playing with me. Why you do it? Because I can do what I want to do. It's my food. Okay? Please. Always got something to say. Shut up. Look, old bay. What kind is this? This is the garlic. Have y'all seen this? This is the garlic and herb old bay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go camera to camera. If you want to get your screenshot ready, get it ready. Okay, this is garlic and herb obey. I seen an interview Ina Gard did, and she said you can use whatever the fuck you want to. That's what she said. I said, oh my God, Ina Garden, Jesus Christ. The Barefoot Contessa has spoken. Okay, that's a little obey. Who done text me? Crystal finna tell me something is wrong. Crystal is saying. Let me hold a button on IG real fast. Uh-oh. Hold on one second. Crystal says she wants the button on IG. Crystal, you need to... Can you comment real fast? Hold on. Where's she at? Crystal, gonna let y'all have it. Y'all, it's, it's over for you hoes. 
Hold on one second. Crystal said, give me the button. Here she go. Crystal, add as a moderator. Get him. Get him. Hold on, I just froze Instagram real fast. Hold on, my finger is fat. Okay, I told him to hold on. Let's make sure that this Instagram is like, it's like blinking or something. Hold on one second, y'all. It might be fine. There it go. It's back. Okay. I need a little bit of oil in here. Okay. So put your little aura in here. That's going to help it all come together. Okay. And speaking of coming together, I'm going to throw in a few ingredients that help this come together. The first is fresh dill, okay? If you are not using fresh dill, stems and seeds, okay? You do not know what you are missing. This is not just for pickles, but dill goes great with fish, okay? Fantastic with fish. I probably put a little too much in there, but that's all right. Who eating it? Me. Thank you. Okay. So that's fresh dill. And then I also have some fresh thyme as well. Okay. So I'm going to pull off from the stem some fresh thyme. You know, a couple of, a couple of uh, stems worth. Okay. A fresh thyme. West Indians love this. It's in everything they make. You think I'm lying? Go to a West Indian house. Household. It's time. Shout out to all my West Indians. Trinidad, Jamaica, Tobago. Okay, Guyana. How you doing? But don't act like I'm lying. Don't do that. Okay? Do not act like I'm lying. All right, put the lid on. And we're going to post this. We don't want to make this like a puree. We're just going to post it. to kind of break it up. Like this, okay? What we got? S salmon cakes. I know, I know. Some people call them croquette. Now this is not the croquette your grandma used to make. Cause grandma used to make pillar rock, baby. Okay, don't play with me. I'm, I know about Pillar Rock. Okay, now Grandmama used to make Pillar Rock salmon. It was a croquette where you gotta open up that can, and once you get that can open, you gotta peel up all the bones and that dark skin meat, then you gotta season it. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna form little salmon cakes with mine, okay? Like little salmon croquettes. Like a salmon, almost a, pa a patty, okay? A salmon patty. Like that, see, look at that. See that? Well seasoned, okay? Well seasoned, ready to go. Okay, so that's one. Here go two. That's why that oil is important. It's going to help it bind together. You don't need no egg for this. No egg is necessary. Okay, that's two. And this is a third one. Now, if you wanted to put this on the grill and smoke these, this could be a really good um, salmon burger if that's what you like. All right? I'm just going to put these in my Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet in a little bit and let these bad boys cook on up. Okay, now I need to work on, let's get my broth ready because my broth is ready. I got to work on my broth. Okay, so if you're just joining us, praise the Lord. 
Look at that. Huh? Three uniform salmon cakes ready to go with red onion, uh, a little bit of onion powder, dill, fresh thyme, whatever else I put in here, child. I forgot. All right? Just deal with it. I really forgot. All right? It's okay. Let's grab some bacon. Okay. Let's grab some bacon out the fridge. And this is what we got to do. We got to do double duty. I'm going to release the steam. Okay, if you just got here, let me tell you what we did. Come here. If we just got here, I'm not drunk. Tipsy, yes. Drunk, no. Uh, we put... No, I didn't put no coating. Did you see me put any coating on here? I put no coating on the fish. None. Okay. If you just got here, praise the Lord. We put turkey tails. The cupcakes ain't done yet. Calm down. Ladon. Barnes, calm down. I got this, bruh. All right, calm down. The cupcakes are not done. What are y'all talking about? Y'all gonna let me cook. Let me get a towel. Hold on one second. The cupcakes are not done. Let me do this. That's why you watching me and I'm not watching you. Okay? Thank you. Them cupcakes ain't no way they're done. Y'all always got something to say. Shut up. No, no, nothing. Shut up. Now, as I was saying, if you just got here, praise the Lord, we put turkey tails in some water. And that's it, okay? That's it. I'm going to use that broth. That's what I'm after. I'm after that smoked turkey broth. 20 minutes is all you need in the pressure cooker, okay? I'm going to release the steam. That's the Darius Cook's pressure cooker. And yes, we got about 200 left in stock, okay? Now, meanwhile, I got bacon. This much. This is like three strips of bacon. All right. I'm going to use my Darius Cooks Everyday Knife to cut up the bacon into pieces, okay? In a skillet, medium heat, I'm gonna add the bacon along with some olive oil. Okay? What are we doing? Cooking. <laughs> no, we're rendering off the fat from the bacon. Because whatever we're going to add to that pan is getting ready to add tons of amazing flavor. Okay? So let me put me a little oil in there. Hold the line. Okay, we have oil. And bacon. Are we done? No. I got a little piece of onion left. There's about a half of onion. First of all, hold on one second. That pressure cooker is available at shopdariuscooks.com. You can use the code Thanksgiving22 at checkout to save. There's also a bundle with the pressure cooker and the pressure cooker cookbook. Apply pressure.
but with soul, okay? 120 plus pressure cooker recipes for everyday cooking, but with soul. Now, I got me this little piece of onion left, cause you know, you don't throw away no onions around here. My grandma never threw away onions. She'll cut off the bad part. You cut off the bad part of the onion and you cut it up. And you use that because onions cost a lot of money, see. And we not rich. So you're not gonna waste no onion around here. Okay? So I'm gonna put this onion right in here. Okay, I put this onion right in here with my bacon. Oh, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code, uh, hold on, let me cut this shit off. Use the code uh, Thanksgiving22 at checkout to save. Okay, my onion goes in here with the bacon. All right, we cook it. Hold on, I didn't get it all out. Medium heat, y'all. All right, you don't want to burn the bacon, so you want it on medium heat. Look at that. See that? And this skillet is a beast, so I want you to be careful. All right, this skillet will burn whatever you put in it, so you got to be careful that it's really on medium heat, because this skillet is an even conductor of heat, all right? So that goes in there. Okay, we need a little piece of celery as well. All right, so I got me a little, a little tank from last night left. Okay, one stalk is all you need. So this is celery and onion. on my Darius Cook's cutting board and using my Darius Cook's everyday knife. All right, let's do it. In go my celery. All right, and I would be remiss if I didn't put me a little piece of garlic in here. Could this be bad? It starts with uh, bacon, onion, oil, celery, and garlic. Enough said. All right. Couple clothes. I'm into slicing garlic these days, so I'm going to use my everyday knife to thinly slice. this garlic. And when I say thinly sliced, this is what I mean. Okay, you only get this from using this knife, all right? This is the Darius Cooks Everyday Knife, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. All right, throw the garlic in with the bell pepper or the uh, onion and garlic. I mean the onion and bacon and celery, Jesus. You know what I mean. Quit playing with me. Put it in there. Okay, we have bacon. Ugh. Oh. Bacon and garlic and celery and onion, so good, okay? Let that cook for just a little bit. Can we talk about what's going in the pan next? Rice, two to one, one part rice, two part liquid. 
Whatever your part is, it does not matter. Okay? It does not matter what your part is. This is the vessel I am going to use as my one part. Before you ask me, did you see me wash it? I'm going to put the rice in with the oil and the garlic and the celery and the onion and the bacon. And I'm gonna stir it around so that each grain of rice, okay, gets a little contact with all the flavor that's going on in this pan, all right? And I want this to cook for just a little bit because I want it to toast up. When it toasts up, that's going to get rid of the starch. And it's going to make sure my stuff come out good. Okay, how y'all doing? Y'all having a good night? Because I'm having a fantastic time. Okay, now, let's get this broth together, okay? Let's get this broth together. Don't forget, shopdariuscooks.com. The code is Thanksgiving22, okay? Shopdariuscooks.com. The code is Thanksgiving22. They said TikTok is frozen. TikTok always be freezing. All right, let me fix TikTok. Hold on, y'all. Be right back. Oh, yeah, it's frozen. Hold on one second. Let me fix TikTok. Ugh. Let me see if I can fix it. I doubt I can fix it. Let me see if I can fix TikTok. Hold on, y'all. I don't know. It says three, two, one. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. It says loading, 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 loading. It always freezes up, right? I feel like TikTok always freezes up after a while. For whatever reason, I don't know. And I'm not doing anything different. Hold on. I'm going to get on my regular cell phone. Y'all not going to hit a bell no more, but... It's so windy today, but let's make some... Okay, thanks, girl. And live on another device, go live. All right, I just went live from my personal cell phone. I don't know. Okay, don't walk away from this because this will burn, okay? Speaking of burn, I have my smoke. Ooh. My smoked turkey broth. Okay, so if you recall, this was the um, broth that I made just from putting in smoked turkey tails. Okay, look how tender this is. I want to show you this. Now, I only put it in for 20 minutes. You can let it go for 30, right? But look at this. In just 20 minutes, look at how tender my turkey tails become, okay? This is just 20 minutes. So what I wanna do is not burn this rice. But I'm gonna put this broth, wait, let me get a cup. I'm gonna put this broth, I want double. Sorry, TikTok, I don't know what's going on here, sorry. So I use one of these. So now I want two of these. Well, one of these as my broth. I mean, you could use water, right? But why? Woo! You could use water, but why when you have this beautiful smoke, 
smoked turkey broth. Now, before I add the broth in, I do want to make sure I add in the black eyed peas for my hopping John. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I have fro. Now, I am not a fan of stewed black eyed peas, but in hopping John, I can eat that every day, all day, twice on Sunday. All right. So I'm going to add some frozen black eyed peas to the rice. Okay, I love this. So we have bacon. We have celery. We have garlic. We have onion. My rice is now beautifully toasted, as you can see. Okay, let's check on my cupcakes. Oh, they are perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on. I don't know how to fix the lighting, I'm sorry. There you go, there you go. They're gorgeous, okay? I know you thought they would burn. That's why I'm cooking and you not. That's why I'm cooking and you not. Now. This smoked turkey broth right in here. All right. So that's my one to two parts, right? So it's one part rice, two parts of liquid. This has enough flavor in it for me, but I'm gonna put just a little chicken bouillon to boost up the flavor, because that's what I want to do. So I'm going to do that. Like that. All right, now, before I cook off my salmon cakes, I do want to work on a little side dish, okay? I don't need no more cocktail. That's it. I'm giving myself a limit, okay? <laughs> no more, <laughs> no more cocktail. Okay, I do want to work on a little wilted spinach situation. That's going to require a little bit more bacon, okay? So why don't we grab some more bacon? Because what goes better with spinach than bacon, okay? So why don't we grab some more bacon and let's cut this bacon into thin strips and let's get this bacon into another skillet so that we can render off the oil and the fat from that and that'll coat our, um, that's gonna coat our, what you call it really well, our spinach, okay? All right, same deal, cold pan. What am I using? Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, all right? I just get high off my own supply. Thank you. All right, so we'll make this little spinach situation. This is cute though. This spinach we're about to do is really cute. Like this is like, if you need a little something for like Thanksgiving, or you're looking for another little side dish where you get your greens and stuff in, this is a really cute way to have your spinach, okay? Like it's so cute. Baby spinach, bacon, a little bit of seasoning, and we're gonna chop up some garlic or slice some garlic to go with it. How bad could that be?
All right, couple clothes. As many as you want. I got like five. Thin slices. I'm putting this in right with the with the bacon. That way it can kind of cook up a little bit, you know. And so you have that bacony, smoky, really good flavor that goes with the spinach. Okay. So for the rice, let me show you. Let me just road map this for you. All right. I'm done stirring. At this point, my bacon is good in the rice. The black eyed peas, beautiful in the rice. The rice is now going to just let it cook, okay? Until all the liquid cooks out. We are not going to touch it. All that stirring y'all like to do. We're not doing any of that, okay? We're gonna let the liquid cook out. Once the liquid cooks out, we're gonna add a lid on top. Cut the heat off, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then guess what? Rice is done. It's that simple, okay? Now, let's work on the dessert real fast, because the fish will take a few seconds to cook, okay? So let's work on the dessert real fast. Let's do that. So my cupcakes are out of the oven, okay? I know y'all thought I was gonna burn them, okay? But as you can see, golden brown perfection. I know you thought I was gonna burn, I know you! I know you were like, oh my God, he's drunk, he's gonna burn. Check the cupcakes, check the cup, shut. Oh, I got this. Yeah. Okay. When I need your help, I'll ask for it. Okay. But cupcakes are beautiful. And these are the cupcakes that are on page 227 in stories from my grandmother's kitchen. Okay. I just got to check on my bacon, y'all. Hold on one second. I'm putting this on low. We're good. Now, I'm gonna use my paddle attachment, okay? And I have a little bit of cream cheese. Now, let me just tell you this. Between you, me, and the gate post, when you go to Panera, or you go to Einstein's or wherever you go get your bagels. You don't know what kind of cream cheese they're giving you. Okay. In this recipe, use the cream cheese that is on sale. This box says it's one third less fat. It don't matter. Cause we finna, we finna add one third more fat back to it. You see what I'm saying? So thank you, Philadelphia, for the sale. We appreciate that. But we still finna work this out a little bit, okay? You, you say, oh, I don't like using low-fat cream cheese. It don't taste the same. You the hell can't taste the fatness, okay? You cannot taste the fatness in the cream cheese. You cannot taste it, okay? Now. I have a stand mixer. You could use a hand mixer with this if you got one. I do have one, I just don't know where it's at. So, this is very extreme. <laughs> this is very <laughs> extreme for a little frosting, but you know what? Let's do it. Okay, so. Make sure we are right back here. Um, cream cheese to start. We need some sugar, okay? You can go to shopdariuscooks.com 
and use the code Thanksgiving22. Okay. Now let's mix together the cream cheese and sugar first. Don't do nothing else. So you do this. Okay. Don't do nothing else. Okay, once the cream cheese and the sugar have become one homogenous mixture, for those of you who don't know what that means, that means it's become one solid mass, one creamy texture. All right, we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla. Okay, like that much. How much was that? Enough. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in some heavy cream. How much? Like that much. How much is that? Enough. All right. Now we're gonna to whip together the heavy cream along with the cream cheese. We'll start it on low or else you'll be wearing it. All right, before I finish this up, I got a couple of cookies. Wait, hold on. I'm shame. They sold me a pipe dream, Oreo. This one ain't got no frosting in it. All right. Here's what I want to do. I want to take a food storage bag. I want to put Couple cookies into my food storage bag. Seal it away. Hold on one second. You give me a second. Thank you. When somebody gets on your nerve, you come in here and do this. I don't know why you like messing with me. I don't be messing with you. You be all on my live streams. You be all in my Twitter. All on my DM. You call me a scammer. You know I'm not scamming. You getting on my nerve. I don't know why you won't leave me alone. You do that. Okay. Once you do that, you have crumbs. Okay, and a clear conscience. <laughs> pour, your, pour your crumbs in your frosting like this here and whip it up a little bit. Done. All right. <laughs> Me <laughs> Meanwhile, all the liquid is cooked out. <laughs> all the liquid has cooked out of my rice. I'm gonna move it to the back stove, the back eye, and put me a little lid on top, okay? I'm gonna let my lid stay there and let it sit for a few minutes, okay? Now, <laughs> oh my God, is this frosting? Wow, look at this. <laughs> I'm telling you, you beat them cookies, it's gonna make you feel so much better. Okay? Cause you can't beat nobody in real life. They'll sue you. It's like that. But you can beat the, the living daylights. Out of them cookies, okay? All right, I found me a little piece of piping bag. Okay, this is a little, a little cheap one, but I found one. 
I'm gonna cut off the tip using my Darius Cooks Everyday Knife. If I, I never know if I cut off enough until I put whatever decorating tip I'm gonna put in here. So this one is like a little round one. Now this may take a little practice, okay, for you. But that's okay. I used to have like the stainless steel ones and stuff, but I don't know where they at. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here like this. And I'm gonna roll this down to the edge. And you see how it don't come up because I didn't cut enough? That's perfect. If you cut too much, you would be ashamed, okay? So I'm gonna cut a little bit more and then let's see if that's enough. Not quite, I need to cut some more. So you wanna cut a little bit at a time until you have enough like this is perfect, okay? All right, I'm gonna put me a little frosting in my piping bag like this. All right, open it up. Just take a little practice, but you know, you can do it, you smart. All right, put me a little frosting in there. And let's hope I didn't, I crushed these up enough. All right, let's hope I crush these up enough. All right, let's pull, twist. All right. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. You could do one glob in the middle or you can do one glob all the way. Okay. So I didn't crush my cookies up enough. Okay, so that's why I got a little blockage. But that's all right, because look at God. Hello, thank you. All right, so as I was saying, you could do one blob on the top, or you could do one smear around like that. It's up to you, however you want to do it. But... Don't you tell me I ain't never gave you no options, okay? Sometimes you can do a little right there. See? Very cute. Then if you want, here's what you do. You take your cookie, see? You cut your cookie in half, and you could... Do a cute little something like that. How cute is that? How cute is that? Okay. Or if you want, you could put the whole cookie in. See? How cute is that? Or if you want, you can take this one and crumble over your cookie crumb. See? That way, you've got crumbs instead of whatever, right? Okay, either way you do it, it's gonna taste the same. Huh? Look at that. Either way you do it, mm, it is going to taste the same. Take the tip out. You so nasty. Shut up. That is so nasty. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, perfect cookies and cream cupcake. Perfect. Okay, now this is on page 227 in stories from my grandmother's. Here is the picture. Here is the cupcake. See that? Picture, cupcake. Picture, cupcake. Mm, so good. 
227. Okay. Now, let's finish our food so I can go take my edibles and go to bed. All right? Give me a second. Get this out the way a little bit. Let's work on these sound, let's finish these salmon kicks right fast, okay? Let me just get this cleaned up. Hold on. Because I got a little mess going on. And you know what the Bible say? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Let's go. All right. Don't forget the cutting boards, the skillets, all of it. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code um, Thanksgiving22 at checkout. And you know what I think is so funny? All them people, them naysayers, say, he's scamming. Y'all not going to get y'all stuff. Ain't it something when y'all stuff show up? 90% off. Girl, get out of my face. Ain't it something when y'all stuff show up at the front door? Ain't that something when y'all stuff show up at the front door? Thank you. Okay, one more skillet to go. All right. And let's heat this skillet over medium heat. Now, meanwhile, look at what's happening. My garlic and my bacon has been cooking on low, like low, 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 okay? So let's do a little bit of salt in here. Not that much, a little tanch. We need a little piece of onion powder to go in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the slightest pinch of sugar right in there, all right? And then I'm gonna take baby spinach ready to eat and just dump it right into this skillet, okay? Remember this skillet is like low, okay? So I just want to barely wilt this um, spinach, okay? So I'm doing it in a warm pan, and I'm just making sure the spinach, the bacon, the oil, all of that gets a little contact with each other, okay? This is how you wilt the spinach. You don't want to cook it all the way down to its... Um, net pay. <laughs> okay, just a little wiltation like this, and you'll let the residual heat from the pan just barely wilt the spinach. Okay, barely wilt the spinach, but you kind of want to make sure every bite gets the oil and the bacon and the garlic. Look at this. You see this? It's like barely wilted. It's just like a little heat, but tons of flavor. All right? Oh, and it smells outstanding. Okay? So while that's finishing, can we do the salmon cakes real fast? That's the last thing we gotta do. All right, let's put some oil in a hot skillet. And if you remember, these are the salmon cakes that we let sit out for a little bit, all right? They've now congealed and all that great stuff, and we can throw these right into that hot oil. This won't take long at all to cook. That's why I did it last. 
okay? Because it legit will only take a few minutes. Now, before I finish up and show you this entire meal, don't forget that everything you want is at shopdariuscooks.com, including the Darius Cooks cutting board, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Thanksgiving22 uh, at checkout to save 50%, okay? And I would say to you that um, I would get on here and cook tomorrow. The website, shopdariuscooks.com. I would say I'd be on here to cook tomorrow, but I can't. No, I put no flour, no egg, no cornmeal in the fish. Nothing. I put the fish in a food processor. I seasoned it. That was it. Okay? I put zero, zero, zero feeler in this. This is the um, lovely, lovely cookies and cream apron. Like, here's your cell phone, right? Cell phone. Fits with no problem, okay? You can pull it out, look at the Darius Cooks Plus app, check your bumblebee or your uh, piece of fish, okay? Bam. Beautiful pockets here, deep pockets, cell phone goes in there with no problem. What I love about the apron is that if you happen to be a little hefty, okay, I have extra long straps, okay? So the straps will come behind and, hold on, my pants falling down. <laughs> They'll come behind and you can bring these straps up front and tighten and it fits everybody. Okay, so we have these in five colors. Red velvet, cookies and cream, banana pudding, strawberries and cream, and then German chocolate, all right? All right, let's flip our fish. Let me show you. You know how you go, oh my God, you need a filler. They won't stay together. Says who? Says who? They won't stay together. Says who? What do you mean? They won't stay together. Why do you need an egg? Why do you need flour? Why do you need panko? What do you mean? Okay. Stays completely together. What else stays together? Don't forget that rice that we made. All right. Let's talk about it real fast. If you remember, we started with the bacon, the celery, and the garlic. Some onion too, uh, as the base. Then we made this beautiful smoked turkey stock from smoked turkey tails. We put in the basmati rice, two to one. One part rice, two parts liquid. So in this case, one part of our rice was the rice, and then we used um, that stock as the liquid, all right? A little chicken bouillon, that's it. We added in some black eyed peas, frozen, because they stay nice and firm, right, to the bite. Beautiful, all right? This ain't the lid that came with the skillet, but this is the lid I'm gonna use, all right? Once your liquid cooks out, you let it sit for 10 minutes, all right? Which is what we've done. And then all you do is take a fork and you just fluff the rice, all right? And as you can see, you have perfect rice every single time. Not one grain is clumpy. Not one grain is sticking to itself. All of this rice is moving about and it's perfect the way rice should be, okay? And I can tell it tastes good because I want to do that. Mm. 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 So flavorful. Amazing. Okay, 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 come on. Let's do a plate. 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 Let's do a pl
Let's do a plate. All right, let's do a plate. Okay, here we go. My salmon cakes are beautiful. Look at this. Do you see that? Salmon cakes are beautiful. It does not take that long to make the salmon cakes, okay? So, I'm gonna put a little bit of rice on the bottom. With the bacon. Now, if you don't do the, if you're not into bacon, it's fine. You don't have to do the bacon. You can do turkey bacon, or you can use some of the smoked turkey from right there, okay? Barely wilted spinach, okay? With more bacon and more garlic, all right? Right on the side. Then, one of my salmon cakes. You could do a little wedge of lemon, a little wedge of lime if you wanted to. Hey, that's hot. A little <laughs> wedge of lemon <laughs> or lime uh, if you wanted to. You can do that as well, all right? Very simple, very easy. The uh, cookies and cream cupcakes, these are in stories. The Hoppin' John is in Apply Pressure. The Salmon Cakes is in, I want to say, Keto and Apply Pressure. And the Wilted Spinach is in Holiday. Okay? So these are a combination of recipes from pretty much all over the place. Okay? Okay? So, mm, the rice is perfectly cooked, y'all. The spinach is bacon in. Mm. I'm telling you, it sounds weird. But that little pinch of sugar, I'm telling you, it makes so much difference in the way this spinach tastes. Mm. 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 My God. Mm, the garlic is in there. Yes, wow. All right. Let me get to the salmon cake. Hold on. Mm. Mm, it's so good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Hmm? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, fresh salmon cake, not out the can. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Not out the can. Mm. 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 It's so good. Mm. Okay, y'all, I gotta go. Oh, and the cupcake. I already bit into one for you, okay? Listen, don't forget, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code THANKSGIVING22 at checkout to save 50%. All right, and uh, recipes like this, you know where to find them, on the website. The website is DariusCooks.tv, soon to be the Darius Cooks Plus app, all right? Two things I want to tell you. As I always do, food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you a happy cooking. From my heart to yours. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Mm, so good. Mm.